Probably if you just started to work with BigQuery and D4 data in BigQuery, you have a lot of questions. For example, how to count number of sessions per day. Let me show how can you do it. Hey, my name is Gala. I'm a Looker Studio expert and founder of Gadley Reports. On my website, you have templates for digital marketing and sales. Soon will be new Looker Studio course launch and you can subscribe to my blog to know more about Google Sheets and Looker Studio for marketers. But let's back to BigQuery. So in the previous video, I uh, create, we created our first query and we did uh, date and uh, count event by date. Um, so let's count active users, for example, from our table. Uh, I have like some, I prepared already some queries. So let's just go uh, on this. How to read it? First of all, where we take data? We take data from our event folder. It's here. And don't forget to use asterisk to query several days. And then we add table suff suffix to add data for specific date period. In our case, it's from 1st till 12th of May. Then I need event date. And uh, event date, I want to use user engagement. It means that these users uh, engaged with our website, so we can count them active. Uh, that is why I added here and event name, user engaged. Then uh, what we do here on the next row of our query, um, I count distinct, distinct me means unique, user pseudo ID. User pseudo ID, this is a user website, user ID, uh, anonymized user ID. So it's just random number that you have, but you can, you don't have opportunity to recognize this um, User. So it's just anonymous uh, number for user ID. So we count unique user IDs. We call it active users. And our condition that event name is in user engaged. We will group by event date. So we grouped by uh, date and order by event date. We don't need order to be honest, but it will be nicer. When, and we can run a query. We run a query and we can see active users by day uh, from 1st till 12th of May. But what, for example, I want to know total number total of users, not only active. In this case, it would be more complex query. It is here. So we start again, start from the same stuff. We query from where? We query from our events. Uh, we use the same where condition, so the table suffix between 1st and 12th of May. Uh, but I removed here um, another condition about event name, because uh, user engagement is for active users. And we need to move it somehow from where clause to row. How we do it? First of all, uh, first of all uh, if we now if I remove this condition, event name condition, and do count distinct user pseudo ID, it will be total users. So we count unique numbers of users. This will be total users. And here is more complicated stuff already. So how to count? Like here it was easy. We just added uh, event name and that's it. Uh, how can we do it here? We do, we start from the same, count distinct. And then we can use if function. We can use case when function, but could be if as well in this case. So we use if function. And in this if function, we type if event name, user engagement, same as we had before uh, on where clause, then user pseudo ID. If then null. Null it means empty. So uh, keep it empty. And we count distinct of this. So to read it, uh, you start to read uh, from center to 
out i think it's easier to read like this so if event name this then this if not uh, actually similar logic with function in google sheets then uh, it is our active users uh group by don't forget to group by because if you don't forget you will have one row for each user so we don't need we just need to group by and order by and now we can run this query now we will have two columns total users and active users you can see that we have less active users than total users and this is absolutely normal because here we count like all events and here only user engagement event uh, what do I not like here? I do not like this number because, okay, we say it's event date, but um, it is not event type. This type is uh, integer. It's a number for system. So I want to move, I, I want to change this number to date and I want to count number of sessions. Um, I prepared a query for this as well. So first of all, we start like beginning is the same. So I have I query the same table with the same clause, where. So it, this is the same as I had in previous query, as this section. But what we do we take? Um, now we take our event date that we take just a field. Now we say like parse date so let's uh, explain to google uh, to our platform to be query like how to read our date so you can use parse date to convert um, text to date uh, and here we have um, it's uh, symbol stuff uh, year then it means year it, it, it is why it is a capital letter, so it means that we use a full year, 2025. Then small m means that we use short months, um, and we use short, uh, not here, I don't remember what can we, but we use short uh, date. Uh, you can find some uh, so I don't remember actually I never remember these codes because you can always google it and say okay I have this kind of date how to transform it and normally in google you can see this library of this code how to write it so that is why I don't remember so when we called event date then same rows that we had before total users then we have same rows that we had before with user engagement to find active users but sessions sessions a bit different because we don't have user id uh, sessions could be several per one user so in this case we count uh, events if event name session start we count it and it will be our sessions so we can run the query and uh, see that we have sessions more than active users and total users and it looks absolutely normal uh, this is an example of how you can find um, some basic metrics from g4 data in bigquery if you want to connect your google analytics data to looker studio First of all, you need to create a query to prepare data for visualization. For example, this table we already can connect to BigQuery. Uh, and you can, for example, save a query or save a view and connect uh, this table to our Looker Studio dashboard. So this is, will be your workflow. Connect J4 to BigQuery, create a view or a table using um, save query stuff or schedule query or, uh, using, using schedule query for example or save view and then you connect result to looker studio okay i think it's a really good introduction for g4 
in BigQuery. Hope you like this video. If so, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, subscribe to my blog and get free Looker Studio template. Um, yes, and hope to see you soon on my channel. Bye bye.